Well, just nine months into his papacy, Pope Francis is being recognized for changing perceptions of the Roman Catholic Church. Time magazine has named Pope Francis its Person of the Year. In its announcement, the magazine said this, The septuagenarian superstar is poised to transform a place that measures change by the century. The Vatican called time selection a positive sign that the Pope's message is being received and more importantly understood. Elisabetta Piquet is an Argentine journalist who's known Pope Francis since 2001. She's also the author of Francis, Life and Revolution. She joins us now live from Rome to talk more about time selection of Pope Francis as its person of the year. Great to have you with us, uh, Elisabetta. Let me begin by just having you describe to us how long, how well you know this, this Holy Father and what you think of Time Magazine's choice. Uh, well, I know the Holy Father since 2001. I met him here in Rome when he came to be created cardinal by John Paul II. And uh, as a journalist uh, like you of my newspaper, La Nación, uh, I, I did an interview with him uh, in the Casa del Clero, and that was the, the well my first time, and I was very surprised because he was very shy. He was a man that would think every word that he would say uh, to me, but uh, speaking so clear, and uh, he was so humble, so humble that two days later, when my newspaper published this interview, I was at home and and, and I received a phone call. Uh, it was him uh, at that time. He was already cardinal, archbishop of Buenos Aires that called me to say, Elisabetta, thank you for the interview. And uh, so, well, this gives you an idea of, uh, of this man. And uh, about your question about Time Magazine, I, I think that uh, it was very, um, it, it, it was, uh, it's not, it was not a surprise because it's uh, impressive being here in Rome and following it uh, every day. And uh, I, I can say, well, it is really a big change uh, what Francis has, has uh, brought to the church. Well, you've known him for quite a while, Elisabetta. You're a, you know, a, we could even call you a fan of Pope Francis. Uh, you know, as you watched his rise, you feel that affinity. Has that shrouded your view of this man? I mean, what's he really like? Is he as humble as he appears to the rest of us? Well, uh, for sure, for sure. He, he's a man that uh, uh, he didn't, he, in a way, he is the same man that I met in 2001, uh, he's the same man that would pick up the phone and, and phone the, the, the old woman that is suffering, that writes to him. But uh, it's also another man because uh, he, he, looks, uh, he looks younger than, than uh, before and he has a special energy there uh, that, uh, well, we could see here every Sunday or, or in, in today also in the Wesley uh, audience, he has this smile, this... Uh, 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 this really approach to people that, uh, well, in that sense, uh, yes, it's a new music, as uh, Time Magazine said. You know, many have said the world has been missing a religious leader, and in one way or another, they see this man, Francis, as leading people down a more correct path. Why is that? Well, uh, I think uh, he is the he's, he's the ideal man for the ideal moment. He was chosen, you know, this cardinal, this, this uh, uh, from the uh, from the end of the world in a moment that, that the church was in crisis. We, we we know the crisis with the Benedict, the Vatilix, the all the scandal of pedophilia, and well, so the the church was was suffering a lot. And uh, and he suddenly it it's it will be nine months now, but the sensation is that has something like century has passed because there is fresh air. Uh, this is a man that is not uh, he 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 is not just speaking. He's giving an example. Since the first moment he decides uh, to come out uh, uh, without the big cross, he decides since the first moment when he was giving has to give the blessing urbi et orbi. He has. First, the people to pray for him to get the blessing from God. So, uh, for that reason, I, I I wanted to have this, uh, you know, in in this book, life and revolution, because I think really he has started a revolution. Now we have suddenly uh, this effect, Francis effect, in in this not okay. marketing. I think 
the church as are again with people, a lot of people that was far away from the church has gone back because he has a message, a true message and a message understandable. The book is France's Life and Revolution. It is not yet in English, but it soon will be. The author, Elisabetta Piquet. I want to thank you, Elisabetta, for being with us. Great insight into the person of the year.